All right, let's do it. All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be talking NBA in this one. It's a little bit later in the day. It's Saturday. It's sometimes tough for me to get these videos out. Um, but I thought, hey, you know, better late than never. Uh, so we're going to talk some picks. I got probably two or three for you guys. Uh, some of these games have started. The Wizards just beat the Pistons, I think. And then we got the Knicks and Heat game, which I'm definitely going to be watching. is starting in a few minutes here, too. So we'll be talking later games. Um, but if you're new to this channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Leave the video a like and then comment anything down below. Uh, you guys have been doing that a lot lately, which I really appreciate. So quickly going over our video picks from last time. I do this in every single video, not just because we had a good day. We've actually been killing it the past few days for sure. Uh, we can't get that five for five, but we'll take four for five any day of the week. Uh, Markel ends up going under. That line was just a little bit too high. Brooke Lopez going up against Jared Allen. Uh, that was, it's a great matchup. Brooke Lopez goes under if Jared, against Jared Allen pretty much every time. So caught that there. Luca goes for 73 points, which is absolutely wild. Uh, but he smashed this over. Obviously, I don't know why it's only showing five. He had like eight threes. Um, Wemby killed it for us. And then Fred Van Vliet was our only miss. Uh, that was actually the first game too. So this was an early one. Didn't look good right off the bat. And uh, he just had a horrible game. Uh, even against Charlotte, him and, and Sangoon didn't have their best stuff. Um, but Jalen Green was able to have a pretty solid game there as well. So uh, we'll take four for five any of the week. But let's jump into the board and attack some value. So first guy we're going to go to is going to be Jalen Brown. This pick is courtesy of Sal Picks in the Discord. Check out the Discord if you guys want to just join a spot where you can you know talk props, talk sports with you know other guys that are interested in the same stuff. Um, and he pointed this one out to me. Looks great. 31 and a half PRA with no Porzingis today. They are going up against the Clippers. You know, tougher matchup there. <clears throat> um, but uh, he kills the Clippers every time he's played them. You know, recently. Uh, but we'll check him out over on Outlier. 31 and a half. And again, Porzingis not being playing or not playing is kind of the biggest thing here. So Jalen Brown, let's go check him out. We'll go to PRA 31 and a half. Uh, we'll check out the 2023 as a whole gun over in 57% of the games, which is great to see, um, you know, pretty consistent, especially lately. Uh, again, we do want to point out the matchup points allowed, rebounds allowed, uh, assists allowed, not the best, but uh, he's been playing really well against these guys, especially recently. They've played once this year. That was, uh, the 23rd of December, so about a month ago, and he had 32, so just creeped over. Now, games without Porzingis in 2023, that's where this looks really, really good as well. So let's go to games without Porzingis. 73% of the games he's gone over this, and a lot of these games he's soaring over. So should have a lot of usage there at home as well. Not sure if he plays better or worse at home, but we can actually check that right now. Um, so plays pretty well at home. 60% of the time he go, goes over here, and the Celtics play really well at home. So uh, this was a seven and a half point spread. If anything, Boston would be the one that blows these guys out. It would be my guess. Uh, but this should stay relatively close. Should be a fun game to watch. And uh, JB over PRA at 31 and a half looks really good. In terms of the odds, it's not like the best odds in the world. Um, but we can go check them out on the Fantasy Optimizer over here at Daily Grind Fantasy. Any of these tools I'm, I'm using, uh, Outlier, uh, Daily Grind Fantasy, Odds Jam has a, has a optimizer as well. Check out my links. They either have free trials or... Um, discounts so check them out it just lets them know that i sent you there and you can use my codes or links or anything for those perks but here we go jalen brown over on the fantasy optimizer in terms of market value we're getting a pretty good deal they're giving it a 52.96 percent chance to hit that's his best line of the day right now too um pinnacle's got this at minus 141 so that's great to see i wouldn't be surprised if this eventually gets bumped up especially as people realize that poor zingus is out uh but yeah really really good line here in terms of the projection model, haven't checked that yet out either, but we'll check it out really quick. Uh, yeah, they like it as well on the over 32.92. So everything pointing in the good direction. Um, again, would not be surprised if this one does get bumped, uh, but really, really liking this play. So JB over 31 and a half is going to be our first play. And for the next pick, I'm going to talk about two guys from the same team, just because I love their matchup today. It's going to be John Collins at 13 and a half points. And then I want to talk Colin Sexton's fantasy score. Um, so Sexton, if you don't know, just came off a game where he only played like 16 minutes, uh, and he's able to do a lot in, in limited minutes, but he should get a decent amount of run. Um, the Rotowire is projecting 27 minutes for him today. So I don't expect it to be a problem today. And uh, again, just a great matchup, uh, kind of a, a younger team over in Charlotte. Uh, so I think he should play a lot and, uh, get this fantasy score pretty easily. 28 and a half for fantasy score. These are both going to be overs. We'll check them out together. Um, this is Colin Saxon in the past, you know, it's 2023 as a whole, but look at the past 10 games over his points line in 90% of these games. Some of these, he's had dropped 30 against OKC and, uh, just love to see the points allowed here. Uh, so good opportunity for Sexton altogether in terms of PRA. I don't even know what his line is 26 and a half. 
He's been able to do that pretty consistently too, eight of the last 10 games. Again, the minutes have been very sporadic, but he's been killing it regardless if he gets 20 minutes or if he gets 40 minutes. Um, and again, if they're expecting 27, that'd be great for us. Last time he got that, he killed his PRA. Um, and then in terms of fantasy score, this doesn't have fantasy score just yet, but we can look at the uh, projection model, which we have on Rotowire. They're projecting 30.5 on the 28.5 line. So love to see that. And then in terms of the odds as well, he's popping up right here. Um, we got three data points, which is nice to see. DraftKings has this at 29, 29.8. FNMGM has this 29.6. And Bavada's got this at 29.6 as well. So all over that 28.5, which is you know great to see. And uh, if he gets 15 minutes, he might not get this. But again, I'm expecting 25 plus minutes. And uh, he should be able to crush this team. So Colin Saxon over 28.5 PRA. And then for John Collins, again, we looked at the matchup. They gave up a whole bunch of points. Uh, John Collins got a whole bunch of runs. So this is honestly like they could totally both hit together, um, but it's kind of like a hedging opportunity if you want to put them into different slips uh, because with Sexton not getting a whole bunch of minutes, or uh, yeah, with Sexton not getting a whole bunch of minutes, John Collins had 32, which is not typical of him. So uh, one of these lines will probably hit. Both of them could definitely hit. I do not expect either of them to both, or to, I don't expect both of them to miss. So that's the good thing. Again, run them out together, run them out in separate slips. Uh, I just want to point out both of them. Great matchup. He's been killing this line, you know, seven of the last 10 games, which is great to see. In terms of the whole year, though, 60% hit rate. A lot of this was early on when he was getting, you know, around 28 minutes or so. The minutes have kind of dipped off. They're figuring out the rotation. Uh, but like I said, they could both hit uh, or one could hit and the other could miss. I don't expect both these lines to miss. So John Collins over 13 and a half. In terms of the odds, it's not as good as that uh, Sexton line. Um, let's go to Collins. Definitely still favored on the over, uh, but do you want to point it out? Right. Hey, I don't like the fancy score if, if you want to go to any of these. Uh, but points right here, 51.38% chance to hit. So definitely slightly favored on the over. Uh, this was a personal play. Uh, it was one of the first guys I wanted to look at just because I saw how many minutes he got. Um, so again, if they, again, reiterating this one more time, they could both hit or they could go one for one. If you want to put them in different slips, that's totally fine. Uh, but I don't expect both these guys to miss. So great matchup for these guys. Those would be our two other plays for the day. So uh, only three today. Not going to talk too much longer. Uh, a quick one a bit later in the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, but again, leave the video a like, comment anything down below, and uh, subscribe if you are new. So let's make some money tonight, guys. A lot of great basketball, and we got football going on tomorrow. And just so I can try to get this video to eight minutes, go ahead and look at Sleeper, guys. If you're not on Sleeper, check them out. They're doing a $500 deposit match. If you're not on Chalkboard, go check them out. They have alt lines, which is super fun to mess around with. Uh, if you think Colin Sexton is going to have a pretty good game, but you don't know if he's going to get 19 points, you could drop this line down to like 13 and a half uh, for a, you know adjusted payout. So chalkboard's really interesting. Sleeper's been awesome. They have promos going on. Uh, CMC discounted by like 20%. <clears throat> and then Lamar Jackson also discounted by like 20% for his passing yards. CMC's rushing yards. So almost free squares over on Sleeper. And then Underdog, they've been throwing uh, uh, promotions at us left and right. Just today, we had a De'Aaron Fox free square pop up. Um, so highly recommend getting all of them. If you use my link, it helps me out. And uh, also just let me know in the Discord if you use my link. I'll get you into the into the premium version as well. So I uh, wanted to extend that and uh, we should be in eight minutes now. So I'll see you guys in the next one.